Hello guys, this is Kingsley and uh, I would like to take you guys through certain selected topics within data structures. Um, first and foremost, I would like to start with the topic linear list where we will look at how to find the location and the addresses of certain elements within a linear list. Okay, so what do you mean by linear list? Linear list is a sequence of data elements or group of related data elements whose structure property of interest is a one-dimensional relationship expressed by positional adjacency. And an example of a linear list is the one-dimensional array. Now, in any given um, list, we should be able to find the location or the address. We also have to know the first element within the list, and we should also have the class size, okay, where the class size is mostly fixed. Then we look at um, the end position of that particular element. Okay, guys. To be able to calculate or find uh, the address or a location of a particular item, the general formula is given by LOC equals LO plus I minus 1 multiplied by C, where the entire parameter here represents the address or the location and LO represents our first element within that particular list it can be called the first element the base address the first item anything that's indicates that this particular item is the initial element within that particular list then we have the i which represents the nth position that position of that particular item minus one and all multiplying the c which stands for the size the size can be in words in bytes etc so let's take a quick example of how to find the address of a particular item in a linear list so we are dealing with the sequential location of storage for list or for a linear list so example one we'll be looking at simple scenario which says the first element of a one-dimensional array occupies location zero in a sequential memory allocation if one byte of storage size is used for each item what is the address of the tenth element the first element of a one-dimensional array occupies location zero in a sequential memory allocation if one byte of storage size is used for each item what is the address of the tenth element so here I want to find the address of the tenth element if one byte of storage size is used and our initial location occupies location zero so let's write our solution now let's put down our parameters within the example given let's take out the thing that we're giving to us then we we'll know what we are also trying to find now we got to know that the LO which is our first element we're given zero now we also said that uh, if one byte of storage size so that means C here is also one so one byte is used 
now we should find the address of the tenth element so our i here which is the nth position is 10 so rewriting our formula again we have lo plus i minus 1 all over c we have loc x where our i is the tenth position our first element is 0 plus the nth element or the nth position which is 10 minus 1 multiplied by 1 remember 1 storage byte was used then we do this simple arithmetic calculation where we have 0 plus 10 minus 1 giving us 9 times 1 still gives us 9 then 0 equals 0 plus 9 gives us 9 now let's see if truly 9 satisfies or 9 is actually the answer that we are having or we should expect so let's prove this by drawing a simple list then let's partition the figure so remember in our list we're told that our first element is zero and the class size is one so we increase each element by one so we have zero plus one giving us one one plus one giving us two two plus one giving us three three plus one giving us four on and on and on then you can do as much as we want okay so when we look at the indices we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can as you can see you have eleven as you can see nine is in the tenth position Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.